that tram a coming, it's coming round the bend. And I ain't seen a tram since I don't know when I'm stuck in Paintridge Prison and time keeps dragging on. Thank you. And that tram keeps rolling up to North Coburg. Yes, 
threw away the wrapper. We threw away the bread. We threw away the bacon, the egg, the lettuce, the tomato, the onion, the special sauce. What we had left was the Whittle Burger. A greasy little wad of prime Australian beef. No grills, no extras, just beef, but it's still the same price.
song made famous by the late great Miss Paxi Klein. Here she is, Tamworth's favourite daughter, the Nightingale of the North, my beautiful wife, Miss Tammy Whittle. <laughs> Switch 
station and up the fun parlours in Russell Street playing space invaders. <laughs> oh, I'll make some great mates, you know. And one day I reckon I'm real funny. <laughs> oh, no, they're pretty funny too, you know. Always dressing me and pinching my hat. Uh, making up nicknames for me like Spoolfed and Spazzo. <laughs>
here was really handy. He was the only kid I knew that could crawl up the inside of an hanging pipe. <laughs> he used to put him down there to clean him out for me, save me digging him up. Right. I remember one time when a compressor broke down on the pump and Uncle Jack got me to siphon all the sippy tanks out of my mouth. <laughs>
and fashion. Yeah, and lust like we knew it in Hamilton, eh? Oh. Yeah. country in my hands. It's youngsters like these two kids here who will inherit our generation's past mistakes. So as we move into the 80s, they will need a strong leader to show the way. A man who is not guided by partisan politics. A man of great intellect and imagination. This is why I, Slim E. Whittle, have decided to run for the Senate at the next federal elections as an independent candidate for the Australian Beef Party. So remember, if you want a stake in the future, don't be the man, vote one slim e Whittle. Written and authorised by Murray Grove, Post Office Box 616 Tamworth on behalf of the Australian Beef Party. <laughs> now I know that every fair-minded farmer in the audience here tonight will agree with me that this country is being run by that galah up in Canberra. Right, 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 right. Can I sleep? I know that there's probably a few Liberal voters along here tonight, so I don't. I don't want to involve myself in a mudslinging match with that upstart Common Street farmer who pretends to be a Prime Minister or his brown tongue lackeys. Calls him 
himself a farmer. What was brazen all about scarifying or flipworm control or clutching sheep? The only gags here for removal of Gordon and Sneddon. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I won't drag myself down to his level. Bloody smart ass Victorian. <laughs> My fellow Australians, have I been preaching politics? God forbid! I would never dream of pushing a political line on my rally. I mean, show. the road from this beautiful restaurant <laughs> and incorporated in this project will be a beef research station to investigate the potential uses of beef. The beef powered car, beef poolside furniture and beef offal vegetarian quiche are just three potential beef byproducts. <laughs> and that will mean a 50% increase in employment for the Collingwood area. <laughs> Another two jobs. Oh. I demand oh. that soya bean be declared a noxious word. Oh. Oh. And the introduction of the death penalty for anyone found guilty of the cultivation of soya beans. Oh. Skies up above. See his country music. It means so much to me. A day is for the diggers. Our brave boys who fought at Gallipoli. Brave men like my dad, who gave his leg stump so as to protect our great Australian way of life. A way of life that is under threat unless we get off our, our thumbs and do something about it. Who will put a stop to the Ayatollah cockamamie? <laughs> and what about the Russians? Are we to stand idly by and watch them overrun East Timor? <laughs> They've already got half a New Guinea. It's just a short hop down the Kokoda Trail and Australia will be next. Comrades, <laughs> I'd like to call on my Shadow Minister for Defence to explain the Australian Beef Party's defence strategy. Whip. <laughs> the right honourable whip of Wayne Whittle, WC Petty on RP7 reporting, Dad. Uh, well, I've been stuttering up on the situation here, Dad, but I reckon the greatest weapon we got is the Australian military mind. <laughs> the Australian military mind is not one to be shirked at. Some of our greatest soldiers had minds. For example, Colonel Sanders, corporal punishment, and private parts. Now, all these men, they got to where they are because they had clear minds. Minds that aren't fogged up with stupid, trivial, personal or emotional feelings, but minds that can think stringent. Especially, strong enough, strategically and tactically. <laughs> Uh, sort of more that can judge for itself. But I can obey orders at a single command. That is, Whittle. A sort of mind that can create something out of nothing, turn a clear path into an obstacle course. But most of all, a mind that can think. Now, you take me. Seriously. You take me. I'm a thinker. 
I can sit and think for hours on end. Sit and think and think and sit and think where I'm going to sit next <laughs> until I get struck by a thought. Uh, oh, I've got to my country. I'll honour the flag and I'll service the Queen. <laughs> oh, I'm proud to service the Queen. And I'm proud to be Shadow Minister for the yeah, Fed. Yeah, right. And yeah. pride is something oh, to be oh, proud of. I think we've heard all of that before. Right? Yeah, right, right, the the right, 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 our beef, our uranium and beef cattle deposits. We need defence to protect 13,000 miles of coastline. It's a bloody long fence, Dad. <laughs> Christ almighty, you bloody young fool. Look at that. Attention. They are beefs. Quick, march. Hop, 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 hop. Citizens of Melbourne, give me a seat in Canberra and I will sit on it. At the next federal elections, you must vote one Slimmy Whittle and the Australian Beef Party. Put, Put your, your meat, meat where, where your, your mouth, mouth is. is. Now we'd like to jump into a rockin' little country tune that goes something like this. It's called Choo Choo Chaboogie. With a pack on my back I'm tired of transportation in the back of the hack I love to hear the rhythm of the clickety clack I hear the lonesome whistles either smoking the stack Pile around with the P.O.P. bloke named Max So take me right back to the track Jack Choo 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 boogie Choo 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 boogie Take me right back to the track Jack I Tammy Destination, but the last no lack. I need some compensation to go back in the flack. I take the morning paper from the top of the stack. I read the situation from the front to the back. The only thing that's open takes a man with a knack. So pull it right back in the stack. Jack. Choo choo, choo choo, choo boogie. Choo choo, choo choo, choo boogie. Take me right back to the track. Jack. Go whip. When I hear the whistle, I can peep through the crack. I hear the train rolling while it's falling a jack. I love to hear the rhythm of the clickety clack. So take me right back to the track, Jack. Choo choo, choo choo, choo boogie. Woo woo, woo woo, choo choo, choo choo, choo boogie. Take me right back to the track, Jack. See you back here on the Whittle Gravy train in half an hour. Yeah.